Hi everyone, this is uh, Chad with Data Springs. We are launching Dynamic Registration 5.0 this week, and one of the features that this module offers is the ability to now map the fields to a .NET Nuke, .NET Nuke photo field. Before we would store file name and have different options in there, but now we actually can store the file ID uh, and actually map it to a photo field. This also integrates with our Dynamic User Directory module, um, uh, but also it integrates with just you know .NET Nuke in general. You can use uh, anything like that. So, um, you know, you've always had the ability to have this HTML file input. Oh, by the way, everything's much faster in this back end now. Um, so now you can actually choose do an in file upload. You can choose to have the personal folder and store the file ID or the file path. So we'll go ahead and store the file ID and hit update here. And now you'll notice that you have a personal folder here. Um, I actually have a window open where I can, you know, I'm just already signed in as a user here. So one of the things I can do now is I can drag and drop this. Let's see if I have a folder here. Kitten Lion Mirror. Now we just drag and drop that folder and file in there. I can also upload it. And what I'll do is I'll choose Update. And boom, that's all, that's all I've done. Uh, so now, uh, actually, if I click around and, and go into here, I will go back to our photo field and go into admin user account. And I will see easily and quickly that this file is now mapped down here. So that works out really well. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and create a quick dynamic user directory module. If, if you're only, you can stop the video now, I guess, if your only goal with that was to be able to, uh, you know, map it to, to the core. So here we'll just add dynamic user directory run through the initial settings. Inside the initial settings here, we have this setting called user image. And we'll choose .NET Nuke profile, the photo field. Um, we'll go ahead and set this to be, I don't know, 100, uh, maybe 115 in height, maybe 100 in width. We'll see. Thumbnail with full image hyperlink. We will enable the jQuery lightbox. I think this has to be set to the portal's home directory. We're going to default that. You can have an alternate image thumbnail here if you wanted to. That would allow you to, uh, you know, just you'll see the default, what the default looks like. So we'll save that. And now we'll go over to the directory template. And we will choose first name ah that can spell oops and then we'll just insert we don't actually insert the photo field we insert the user image field the user image field corresponds to all the module configuration we have in there and we'll add a horizontal line i don't think we have many users but we will so horizontal line there we hit edit or exit rather now you'll see we have this it's a full actual image based on those settings so there you go hope you enjoy dynamic registration 5.0 as much as I have enjoyed adding a lot of enhancements if you guys have any questions go to datasprings.com we have product forums, uh, contact us, reach out to us, let us know. Thanks. Bye.